हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी गेट 2022 मैथमेटिक्स सॉल्यूशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 215 विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक सो यू कैन सी विद इन अ विद इन अ 5 टू 10 मिनट्स यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल दीस फाइव क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर घर वर्किंग द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स था यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो दिस लिंक फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस वीडियोज ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर एग्जामिनेशन यू मे सी दिस इज माई प्ले लिस्ट सी एस एर नेट गेट एंड आई आई टी जेम्स चैनल नेम इज माई डॉक्टर घर विच इज यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस प्रीवियस ईयर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन और द कम्प्लीट क्वेश्चन आर थे सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द फर्स्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस सो ईच ऑफ दी फाइव क्वेश्चन कैरी वन मार्क्स ईच एंड यू हैव टू सी विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग इज दैट दैट मीन्स दिस ओनली वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन आर थे The one way is that uh, uh, in uh, the first method is there are so many method you can solve these equations. So, but I will tell you the shortcut tricks are there. So we all know this is the characteristics equation of the m. It means lambda is nothing but my eigen value. So once it is eigen value, then we can see the coefficient of the lambda cube is my one. So it means the lambda must satisfy these all options are there. Then what you can do? We will check that. Which of the coefficient of lambda cube is one? So you can see, if I multiply this and this is a, that is a, this is nothing but my one by lambda. So if you multiply them, if it will give you minus of lambda beta times lambda cube. But we need a coefficient to be a one. So this option cancel out. Similarly, if you look about this, this is nothing but my here. If you multiply this, if you cross multiply by this, like of this one plus of this, and this is nothing but my here. If you multiply them again, it will give you beta times lambda cube but we need a coefficient to be a one so this option also cancel out look about this option if you if you look about that this is nothing but my here plus beta is this so if you take the lcm and then you can multiply you can see if the coefficient is a one look about this option if this is there minus of beta is my here again you can see if you multiply them the coefficient is a one so it means either one of the right answer so the first way is you can simplify it if you take the lambda square as a lcm so what will happen it is nothing but my one plus of this and if i multiply them by here so you can see this is the cube the first pair is satisfied alpha lambda square but alpha is a negative but we need a positive so this option also cancel this is the right option so you can see if you multiply them here so it will be my this over lambda square and if you cross you can see it's a cube satisfied alpha of lambda square positive satisfied this is a negative it you can take on the right hand side it's a positive and so on so the right answer of this problem is d so there is no need to solve the problem you just try to discard the option and get the right answer look about the another one is uh, uh, what is that this is uh, related to the linear algebra so what is that m is my this one m is greater than n so uh, n is what is that this condition is given to you so and for what value of the m and n they are not given to you so i simply take m is just greater than so i can take m is there n is my 2 that's fine and what is the meaning of that m is now m belongs to my 3 cross 2 what is the meaning of that there is a mapping from r2 to r3 that's the meaning of this now rank of the m which thing was Which thing when you come in your mind when you have think about the rank? That's the rank nullity theorem. That means rank of t plus nullity of t. It must be the dimension of this codomain. So rank is given to you n, n I consider as a two. So what is the meaning of that? Nullity is my zero. So once the nullity is zero, means what is the meaning of that? There is no elements belong to the kernel. So look about that. M x is my zero. What is the meaning of that? Determinant of n is my Non zero, or you can say if it is my three cross two, M is the matrix of the three cross two, so that is my there are the three rows and two, and the rank is my two, and it consists of x one and x two. So what is the meaning of that? It will give you a unique solution. So that has the only solution means that's a unique solution. It means this is a right. Look about the another one is so what is the meaning of the e cube zero? That means this is my nil potent matrix. And once it's a nilpotent matrix, what is the eigen values of this? They are zero. All the eigen values are my zero. So E has the eigen value zero. So what are the eigen value of the I plus E square? What is the eigen value of the I? That's a one. Eigen value of this is my zero. So the eigen values of this are my one, 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 and so on. So once they are here, what is the determinant of I 
plus e square that is a non zero it means this is a non singular matrix but here is a singular matrix so this is my false statement so p is correct p is true q is false that is true this is false this is false this is false so that's a simple method also or you can also see about this way so when the that what is the meaning of that that's a kernel is zero that's a nullity is my zero so that will give you a unique solution of this that's a one to one and so on okay look about this so what is given to you you have a function u is given to you and u is a harmonic conjugate of v such that v of 0 comma 0 is my 2 and your target is to find this so that's a very simple i will tell you the shortcut quick is so there are very various methods are there but i will tell you the shortcut quicks whenever u is given to you and v is unknown v then you can find the value of the fz by using this a uh, simple shortcut methods are there integration partial derivative of u with respect to y at the point 0 plus constant r that's a there is a simple rule about that or you can say this is nothing but f of 0 comma 0 So now, what is that? Firstly, I can find the value of f zero comma zero. What is that? This is the u zero comma zero plus iota v comma zero. So what is the u comma zero? So when y is zero, cos zero one, sine zero is zero, and sine zero is zero. So it's a zero plus of two. So that is nothing but my two iota. So this value is my two iota. Now, how you find the value of this at the point z comma zero? That's a y is zero, and x is z. So if you take the partial derivative with respect to y, so this is the product rule. So one time it will be the sine of two y, second time is the sine hyperbolic of. So clearly says when sine of two y is a zero, sine hyperbolic zero is zero. So this part becomes a zero. Again on this, so what is that? The first part will be the cos of two y, and here is cos of hyperbolic three y of sine two y, and here is sine hyperbolic three y. So again, when y is zero, this part becomes a zero, and sine zero is zero. Again, this part is zero. So this complete part portion is my zero, because now you are the completion. So you can quickly do that. So what is the u comma zero? So now I can find the value of the u comma zero. So what will happen at y is zero? So cos zero is my one, that is over. Sine zero is my zero. So the answer is cos hyperbolic is my one. So the answer is only. Uh, e raised to power 2 z sine of 3 z this value is my 0 plus of 2 i so now i can solve this for you e raised to power 2 z of sine 3 z plus of 2 i now i need the value at i pi iota pi so this is 2 iota pi so sine 3 iota pi plus of 2 pi So sine e raised to power two iota pi is my one. How I can write that? I can write this is e raised to power iota x minus e raised to power minus iota x divided by two iota plus of two. Now that's over. You can solve it. What will happen? This is my e raised to power minus of three pi minus. This is minus minus plus iota square is plus one e raised to power three pi divided by two plus of Now you can compare your answers. You have to multiply this by two iota. So what will happen? This will be cancelled out. So and this will be my minus four. Minus four and plus four will be cancelled out. So the right answer is my here minus e raised to power plus three pi. So this is cancelled out. This is e raised to power three pi should be positive. This is cancelled out. This is the right answer. This is the correct way to solve the problem. Okay, look about this one. So, what is given to you? This is here. Now, what is that? C is a circle. S radius is my two center at origin. So that means this is my here two comma zero. So that's so very simple. I can write this value in the form of this. I can multiply this of here. One zero one plus one of d j. So do you remember what is that? What is that? This is nothing but integration of f dash upon f. So which theorem is there? So what is the f dash upon f? So this integration will define as two pi iota number of the poles, number of the zeros minus number of the poles. What is the n is number of the zeros and number of the poles 
of fz so what is the my fz in this case that is my 1 raised to power 1 plus 1 so since there is no pole so therefore p is my 0 what is that so in this circle there is no pole so that's a p0 how many zeros are there in this circle so its value will be minus 1 raised to power 1 0 1 that is all are lies in this this is my minus 2 0 so how many zeros are there 1 0 1 so i can substitute this value so it's a 1 0 1 of 2 pi iota 1 0 1 minus of 0 so clearly sees that 1 0 1 will be cancelled out so the answer will be 2 pi iota is the right answer. okay look about the next one is so x is a non linear space x 0 is defined to be here x 0 contains the distinct point of the line segment okay so that's uh, again simple so what I can do i can take any of the two points belong to the x 0 what is the meaning of that norm of x is my one norm of y is my one and what is the linear line segment is this is the line segment okay. this is the line segment of this and x0 contain the line segment what is the meaning of that lambda x plus 1 minus of y it must be 1 fine now here is there is no particular value of lambda so i can simply take lambda is my half so what will happen this is nothing but norm x norm y upon 2 is 1 that means x plus y is my 2 so now we can take the options so if this is my 2 this is my 1 this is my 1 because of this and this so that is true only one option is correct this is my 2 this is my 1 this is my 1 this is also true this is 2 square that's a 4 this is 1 this is plus 1 so this option is cancelled out this is my 2 this is 2 times 1 and 1 this option so either a b and d are there but only one correct option is there now look about the linear dependence so look at that both the options are correct so if if x and y are added what is the meaning of that this and this both options are correct but there is only one correct option so it means x and y can never be linear independent so the right answer is my here however you can easily check that whether they are linear independent or not so since it is a non-linear space so we all know that r2 is a non-linear space so i can consider the two vectors simply x is my 0 comma 1 y is say my 1 comma 0 clearly says that norm of x is my 1 norm of y is also 1 and you can see they are my ally note for the ld so it means the right answer is my only for the a is the correct so this is the way you can solve all these five questions in a very simple shortcut fix R. I hope we can e simply enjoy it. We will see in the next lecture on the 16 to 20 in our next class. Till then, you can simply follow this playlist, CSR net, UGC net for the channel name Dr. Harishgar for finding the various previous year papers related to the CSR net and the JEP. You can like, share and comment this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.